All right, hey folks, everything new understand. Um, another video. I'm not going to have a, a, a ton of stuff today. Um, getting getting late to the uh, creating the videos here. Um, but this one is another significant one that I saw on RaptureRay.com. Um, this is the Gateway Pundit. Uh, dot com, and this is in uh, relation to November fourth, which is the grid down situation testing the blackout testing. Let's have a look at it. So, like I said, this is the uh, Gateway Pundit dot com Antifa leader. November 4th, which is the same day as the Department of Defense uh, drill, the blackout drill, where uh, you know they're going to drill that the whole country goes into a blackout due to uh, you know a solar storm. Um, interesting that um, this whole uh, protest thing is scheduled for November 4th. Millions of Antifa super soldiers will behead all white parents. What? Tom Bloke, considered to be one of the leaders of the d domestic terrorist group Antifa, took to Twitter today to threaten violence against white parents and small business owners. This is going to be an incredible day, some big blackout drill, and you have, um, uh, you know, this uh, uh, Antifa leader uh, threatening, uh, you know, terrorist attacks, basically, inside the U.S. You know, if you want to talk about terrorist uh, uh, conspiracies and and uh, the potential for martial law, you know, this, this, this would be one of those uh, high-watch events when you see uh, these sorts of comments, these sorts of uh, gatherings and, and, and scheduled events. Can't wait for November 4th when millions of Antifa super soldiers will behead all white parents and small business owners in a town square. That's from October 30th. Adding to the open display of anti-white racism and coupled with violence against small business owners for whatever reason, the top-rated reply doubled down. We, Antifa, are going to uh, explode the white a U.S. race, USA race, with Acme TNT crates until they are clobbered, clobbered, I guess, uh, with soot and waving a, a white rag on a stick. Update far-left radicals now claiming it was a funny joke. Multiple far-left radicals have taken to Twitter and various blogs claim this initial tweet was a joke. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, banning free speech, uh, maybe this is one of those um, that Twitter should have Ban, as written to MIC Twitter user Tom Bloke is not only a um, not only a thought leader of the far left, people on the far left who push certain ideologies, or in the case of normalization of anti-white violence rhetoric under the guise of humor, among his followers uh, and the people who retweet Tom Bloke are far left Teen Vogue writer Laura Duca and Colin Taylor, the managing director of Occupy Democrats. Democrats, these are people who think remarks such as can't wait to behead all white parents are not only funny, uh, but that nobody should take offense to this normalization of violence against white people. And that's what it is, normalization of violence. And it's it's terrorism. It's not a joke at all. It's it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's the same tactics as ISIS. Uh, terrorize people just by putting thoughts in their head uh, that something uh, could happen. So what's going to happen November 4th? Well, like I say, we've got this DOD uh, event happening where they're going to practice uh, blackout in the U.S. and see if um, parts of the U.S. Uh, could uh, withstand or at least practice withstanding <clears throat> a solar storm uh, blackout or a nuclear event in EMP uh, exploding. And then you have these protests planned uh, by Antifa uh, for November 4th. So interesting stuff. I mean, there's so many interesting dates that are uh, coming, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, be prepared. You need to know the Lord Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. This is the uh, ultimate way to be prepared. And above that, uh, you never know when uh, uh, the, the economy is going to collapse. You never know when uh, the government is going to collapse. There's going to be major protests and, and they're going to bring down martial law or something like that. That's inevitable. Um, with the U.S. falling as a world power, um, slowly coming down, we're going to see a rise in violence. The Bible actually speaks of these things. So you need to be prepared in your heart. And you need to have some food and water on hand and be prepared in that way. So I will leave it there, guys. I'll put the link in the description. Um, things are coming, and we don't know uh, what they really mean in the end. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.